What are you, some kind of freak? How did you get that strong? Hundred push ups, hundred sit ups, hundred squats. That's what it takes if you're trying to reach the. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mac McCarty, and I know I've been away for a little bit now. But I have some awesome news. So once our season at Pierce College ended, I ended up committing, and as a few of you know, I ended up committing to a D1 school, Virginia Commonwealth University, VCU. So go Rams, pretty cool thing. Um, I ended up getting a scholarship out of there, a pretty decent amount, size one. Uh, I'm not gonna say actual amounts or anything, but I am on a scholarship, so that's pretty dang cool. I'm really thankful for this, and what I wanna do is, I wanna show you guys kind of my journey on making it all the way to a D1 school from high school all the way to where I am now, okay? So with that being said, let's jump right in. Let's start right at my sophomore year of high school, okay? So my sophomore year of high school, I was probably 160 pounds or so, 165 pounds, five foot nine, five foot 10, right about there. So not too much shorter than I am now, but I did grow about an inch since then. And uh, so my sophomore year, I played on all the best select teams in my area, all the best club teams, whatever you guys want to call them, and I completely expected to make my high school varsity team. So I played my whole entire sophomore year, and I ended up not playing a single inning of varsity baseball, which for me really hurt because all my buddies that have played on my same select team, their sophomore years, the guys who are a year ahead of me, they played a lot of varsity, if not starting the entire year. So, and I knew as a D1 guy, like if I wanted to be a D1 athlete, most guys are starting on their varsities as a sophomore at their high school. So it was really disappointing for me and it was, that was my biggest turning moment of kind of who I am and just kind of who I ended up wanting to be through all this entire baseball process. So what I ended up doing is I ended up going that summer and I played on a really good 18U team. I was 16 at that time and uh, I just really wasn't ready for 18U baseball yet. Um, I was a little too young. My body wasn't mature, as I can say. As I said, I'm only 160 pounds, so I ended up playing about half that season out, and I uh, still pretty disgruntled about not playing high school baseball in var on the varsity level. And I was pretty mad at my high school coach. I was taking summer ball as this opportunity. Hey, I'm gonna prove you wrong. You know, you did me wrong, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you that I deserve to be on varsity. But that's not how it ended up even going for my summer. I ended up struggling in the summer. So I ended up about halfway through, I ended up quitting summer baseball to start lifting weights. And that was probably the biggest decision of my life. To, everybody always plays summer baseball. Every single one of you probably been playing summer baseball for a pretty long time now. You guys who are trying to do this really competitively. So I ended up my 16 year old year, I ended up quitting about halfway through just so I could start lifting weights full time. And that was probably the best decision that I ever made was, hey, I'm not good enough to play at a summer level. How am I gonna be good enough to play at the college level? So I ended up quitting that team and I just trained the rest of the summer. And as you can see from a few of these clips, I wasn't very strong. I mean, I started off and I was, I'd been lifting for a little bit, almost a year at that time, but not really that seriously. I could barely deadlift 300 pounds, which, for me wasn't very wasn't very good I mean so a lot has changed a lot changed from that sophomore summer to my junior year uh, at the beginning of that next baseball season those nine months were the biggest moments of my life so I started eating a whole bunch and I ended up gaining about 20 pounds or so and I came into my junior season at 185 pounds 100 instead of 165 pounds and a whole bunch, and a lot of the, the number one thing that I gained from that was velocity in my pitching. And I went from a 74 mile an hour side armor to an 80 mile an hour, 81 mile an hour side armor my junior year. And that was one of the biggest things that changed. I had a .7 ERA in my junior year of high school. I went 11 and two, I only lost to one team and I ended up being twice and once in the state championship game. But I really made a whole bunch of improvements and that summer I played a whole bunch of tournaments and I ended up getting a D1 offer from Washington State University and I ended up committing there after my junior year. So fast forward, kept lifting really, really hard and senior year happens. Senior year approaches and we ended up winning state my high in my high school season. So that was a huge achievement for me. I was so happy about that. We weren't supposed to win state. We weren't even close to one of the best teams, but we were definitely the hardest working team. And so I'm lifting weights as hard as I can in my senior season. 
and I'm getting bigger and I think my weight actually got all the way up to 194. So I gained, I ended up gaining 10 more pounds from my junior to senior year. And I was a pretty big high schooler, high schooler muscle wise. Like I was benching right at about 265, 270. I was deadlifting 405, which was awesome. And I, I was squatting, I think I was squatting, I didn't really, didn't really squat too much in high school and I was squatting around 300 pounds or so, 315. But with that being said, weightlifting changed my baseball career. It made me go from a guy who couldn't even make varsity to a D1 athlete. So that's not, it sounds all good and dandy and you're thinking, oh, then why do you play at Pierce College if you committed to Washington State out of high school? So during the fall, we played baseball and one thing that I didn't, that I forgot to mention, there was a coaching change. So the coach that recruited me ended up getting fired. So he was gone and there was this new coach in there and there was like 50 guys there. So the old coach over recruited and that's something I didn't know happened at a lot of schools. So he ended up over recruiting and then the new guy also brought in some of his own guys. He brought in four or five of his own guys. So I ended up being on the 50 man, uh, having to compete for, I think there was like 33 or 35 spots or something with 50 guys. So as a freshman, I kind of ended up getting caught up in a numbers game and the coach didn't really like me. So he said, you're cut. And he ended up cutting me from a D1 program. And that was a huge, that was another huge moment in my life. I, I always thought I'm the hardest working guy and he just didn't think I was good enough. I remember him telling me, he said, you're not gonna be able to pitch at the Pac-12 D1 level. And that was a pretty big hit for me. Um, my ego took a huge hit and it just kind of rattled my passion for baseball. So then I went from going to Washington State to getting cut from the team. I'm just a student going there. For the rest of that uh, winter or that fall semester, I just went to WSU, Washington State as a student. So then I had to go find a JUCO to play at. And that was kind of a difficult experience because I always thought of myself as a D1 guy and I always looked so down on JUCO and I was like, oh, it's a slap in the face to have to go to a JUCO school. And that was just some of the stigmas that I put on it. I ended up going to Pierce College solely because um, my best friend played there and I kind of lost my passion for the game. And I was like, I just need to have fun again. And so I ended up playing my whole entire freshman season and I kind of had this weird thought in my head like, man, I don't even know if I really want to be playing baseball anymore. So that was a huge hit to my ego. And I ended up my, I think my freshman year, I ended up hitting like 270, way worse than I thought I was going to. And I think I ended up posting like a 299 year or like a three year or right around there, right at the three mark. Really, really average stats for the league that I play in. So I was pretty upset about that. And I was like, man, I just don't think baseball is gonna be working for me. And so I ended up stopping baseball for that entire summer. And I remember thinking to myself like, am I really gonna stop playing baseball? And I remember I started doing uh, Jiu Jitsu and MMA and like, it was amazing how once I stopped playing baseball and I started doing other things, how much I missed the game. So I decided, I called my coach. I said, hey, I'm gonna devote myself to having fun this next season. And that's something I really made sure. And for me, having fun wasn't just goofing off on the baseball field and having a good time with my buddies and going out and partying or whatever. It was about working hard, but not working hard to get like a bunch of awards and being super performance based, but working hard to see how good I could get at baseball. I ended up hitting the weight room really hard and I set a whole bunch of new PRs and like weights in baseball kind of went hand in hand with me. Like, man, once my passion for baseball really started, my passion for weightlifting really started and my deadlift PR went from about 415, 425 in my freshman year, and then I got all, all the way up to 485 this year. I went from squatting 350, 360, all the way up to 405 to 410. So that was a really huge moment for me. And my bench, I think my bench press ended up going from 265, or not 265, 285 all the way up to 320. So that was a huge moment for me of just, I'm here to work hard and have fun. I'm not here to work hard just so I can see how good my stats can be. Because baseball is an interesting game where it doesn't matter how good you can be, but you can put off a streak of a few games where you're just hitting the ball super hard or you're making great pitches and they're just hitting them. So it doesn't really matter how much you want performance wise, but as long as you know that you worked as hard as you could to get as, just like to keep getting better, that's what baseball is really about. Baseball is not a performance based game because baseball can be a pretty evil sport sometimes and you can be working so hard but not see any results. So this last season coming in, I was, I was about 201 pounds, 202 pounds, a pretty lean muscle. I'd probably say I was around eight or 9% body fat. And 
I was started throwing a little bit harder, which is something that I really noticed. The harder I worked, it's kind of funny, the harder that I started throwing. So like my strength went up and of course, I stayed very flexible um, and I kept kickboxing, I kept my legs loose, I kept my arms loose with boxing, things like that. And my velocity went from 80 to 82 my uh, freshman year and then this year it was 83 to 85, which for a submarine guy is pretty hard. Um, but that really was a huge change in my game. Just the, I finally saw more physical benefits of how hard I was working. So that was pretty awesome for me. And then, so this last season, I ended up posting a .99 ERA, which was second in the NWAX. Um, and then I hit 333. And I hit for a lot more power this year as I got stronger and stronger and stronger. And so I hit 333. I think I hit four home runs and I had like 12 or 13 doubles. So that was a, that was a pretty big step up from my 270 and my three ERA the last year. We ended up coming in third. We went 34 and 16, which was a pretty good season, but we ended up getting bounced in one of our regional games. The last game that I pitched, I threw a complete game. Uh, I think I didn't have any earned runs, but uh, the final score of the game was two to one. And so it was kind of a rough way to end the season, but a pretty successful season overall. And so I ended up getting some interest throughout the year. And as you guys know already, I ended up committing to VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. Some schools that gave me interest were uh, UCF, Tulane, Central Michigan, UConn, VCU, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. But I ended up choosing VCU because it felt the most like family to me. It kind of felt like Pierce in a sense. Like the coaches are really looking out for the players and all the players that I saw, I've got to watch one of their lifting sessions and I was really impressed with just how much the guys were kind of coming together. So that was a huge deciding factor of where I wanted to go because I want to keep having fun. I noticed when I'm having fun and I'm working as hard as I can, I'm a much better ball player. I'm having more fun and I'm having more success on the field. So I ended up choosing VCU and that's kind of my D1 story. My D1 story isn't kind of just how you think like, oh, and I played high school baseball and then I went to D1 baseball. It was kind of like this big wave of, oh, I didn't make varsity my sophomore year. And then, oh, I got so much better in my junior and senior year and I got a D1 offer. I made, or I got onto a D1 team and then they cut me. And then I had to go do the JUCO route and I wanted to end up quitting baseball after my freshman year and I lost the passion for the game. But I ended up refinding that passion and I'm so happy that I did. I'm so happy God gave me an opportunity just to play one more year and it just paid dividends. And I'm so happy that I get to go to VCU to just keep playing baseball, and especially at the D1 level. That's the level that I wanna play at. I wanna play it, I wanna play against the best guys. And so I felt like VCU provided me with that opportunity. I guess what I wanna to say to you guys is no matter where you're at, no matter if you just got cut from a team, if you truly wanna put all your hard work and dedication into this game or whatever sport you end up playing, you can do that. You can see, I mean, maybe your max potential is I'm gonna be end up just being a Juco player. But if you don't push yourself 100% every single day and you don't just push yourself past those limits that you set for yourself, you'll never end up finding out. Like I could have easily stopped playing right after I got cut from that, cut from Washington State and I was like, D1 baseball will never be in my future. But I ended up working hard and I fought through those low moments of losing motivation and passion. And I fought through those things and now I'm out of D, I'm right back at that D1 level. I'm right back on the cusp of where I wanted to be when I came out of high school. So for you guys, you can do anything. I mean, I know this sounds super kind of corny and motivational, but you can really do anything that you put your mind to. It just, it all depends on dedication. You can't put in a three one day and then a 10 the other day. It's gotta be every single day. It's gotta be an eight, nine or a 10. You gotta bring that consistent passion every single day. So. That's my D1 story, and I hope that's kind of some motivation for you guys, and uh, thank you for watching so much. Comment if you guys have any questions or suggestions for me. I'm gonna start trying to post more frequently. I know I've been away for a while, but thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, keep working hard, keep grinding out. It's now the off season, or you're playing summer baseball, or whatever your sport you're in, keep grinding. So, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Mac McCarty signing off. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.